Hello, my frugal friends. Thank you so much for watching. Coming at you with April Day 8. And I hope that you're having a fantastic day so far. But if you're not, this video is for you. So I have been accused in the past, uh, perhaps mentioned as being a little bit melodramatic. And I heard that and I was like, melodramatic? What is that? What is melodramatic? Who would think that I was melodramatic? And then I looked it up and it turns out that being melodramatic is an excessive appeal to emotions and excessive um, display of emotions. <laughs> okay, fine. Guilty as charged. Sometimes I can be a little bit melodramatic and sometimes little things have a way of really getting to me and things that happen in life that are just part of everyday life, sort of the flow of how things go in life, how life works. Sometimes those little things really get to me. So what what I would like to learn and what I'm hoping to learn and what I kind of wanted to share with you to see how it goes is how to be more resilient and how to really snap out of it. Which I realize if you're going through a really like a legitimately difficult time like dealing with a death or a, a, a significant loss, you be sad and that's okay. And the last thing you need is somebody telling you to snap out of it. But if you, like me, tend to really internalize little things and little things really get to you, then maybe this video would be for you. So I did what any you know, 21st century lass would do when they're looking for some info, and I googled literally how to be resilient. And um, I came up with a couple tips. I have my notes for you. Um, so these are, and I kind of, you know, aggregate from the web. Um, num and this is and mixed in with my own kind of experience of what works and, and what doesn't. Um, number one, be honest with where you are. Just be honest. If you're feeling crappy, you're feeling crappy. That's okay. Own it. But don't let that um, paralyze you. Number two, um, stay active and get moving. So you're feeling crappy. Okay, you can feel crappy, but don't stay stuck. You got to keep it moving. That's um, Taylor Jacobson from the Rachel Zoe Project has a saying, and it's just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't stop. Keep it moving. Um, number three is stay flexible. So things don't go the way you planned. Okay, maybe there's something better around the corner. Maybe not, but still... It's easier to adapt if you're flexible. Think of the willow tree in the storm versus the great and mighty oak. Number four, take action. Do something. Along with that, keep it moving. Do something. Take a class. Read a book. Write a novel. Do something to get yourself up and moving and out of your head. Um, number five is stay connected. So important. And if you're watching this, then you are staying connected because this YouTube community can be a great place to find support and encouragement and to let people know how you're feeling and to really allow yourself to receive that support in return. Um, so number six is <laughs> release tension. <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> not like that. Um, some suggestions were things like journal or write or draw or in my case, sing badly and loudly in the shower or in the car. These are things that will kind of help you again get out of your head and get out of that sort of cycle of staying stuck. Um, number seven, have a sense of purpose. Maybe your sense of purpose is to be the best darn butterfly collector you can possibly be. You be that. Or maybe you want to uh, be really good at macrame or, or competitive line dancing. I don't know. Have your purpose and live that purpose. Number eight, have healthy habits. So as I kind of, I'd mentioned earlier, um, I think it was day six, I have those three habits. I drink water, I try not to eat after eight o'clock and I try to do some form of movement every day. These are habits that work for me. And maybe if you look back over your sort of your history, you can find habits that work for you too and that will help keep you in that mindset of moving forward and staying positive. Um, number nine, believe. Believe that this isn't the end of the story. This is a moment. Look at your life in the context of uh, sort of the entire, the big picture and not just sort of this one point life isn't a snapshot, it's a film strip. That's a Dave, Dave Ramsey quote, but it's so true. Everything is moving. Everything is constantly moving. Nothing stays still. All people are always changing. So just believe in that. Number nine is laugh. Like my really good friend Christine and I have a list of things that uh, will make each other laugh no matter what. Um, so for her, one of her things is... Um, in the movie Blazing Saddles, there's a part where the character Mongo is trying to get a horse to move and he 
punches a horse. <laughs> she finds, and the horse is okay. She finds that hilarious for some reason. And for me, it's uh, the character, Dom DeLuise's character steps in a puddle and utters an expletive. And I just find that hilarious. And we've kind of collected those over the years of things that like, we will find hilarious no matter what. And if one of us is having a bad day, we can just kind of be like, punching a horse or stepping in a puddle. And no matter what, it just kind of, it makes you chuckle to think about it. So that's really helpful because really laughter, laughter is pretty powerful. And number 10, optimism. You gotta stay on the bright side. Stay on the sunny side of the sidewalk. You have a choice every single day when you wake up. You can either walk in the shade or walk in the light. And sometimes just that action, it's sometimes getting up is a victory, let's be honest. But sometimes just the intent to move into the light is so powerful. So really dwell in your own sense of ability and power to move into the light and to choose the light when you wake up in the morning. Without sounding too cheesy, these are my 10 suggestions for how to be resilient and how to get over the little things that might get you down. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so, 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 so happy that you spent time with me today. If you haven't already and you would like to, please click the subscribe button, which I think might be somewhere around here. Um, and if you're a new subscriber, welcome and thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I hope to catch you again soon sometime. Thanks. Bye.